Hello everybody uh, thank you for joining us today. I am your host Philip and today I am joined by our friends from Idea Statica, Uri and Vit who will be pretty much doing all the hard work and delivering today's presentation content. Um, some housekeeping items from me before we begin properly. Uh, please note that we will be offering a uh, question and answer today following the presentation. Um, as indicated on the screen earlier, questions can be submitted at any time um, using the GoToWebinar um, application. Some of you may get answers in the chat window as we proceed, but we will address others at the close, particularly those that we believe will, will interest the total group. So do please um, submit questions as we go along um, and we can um, prioritize and, and answer as we go. Um, I do urge you to now close all other applications other than GoToWebinar and there's some very good presentations as part of this content. So do view in full screen mode so that you can appreciate the demos and uh, uh, and make sure you um, really understand what we're, we're showing you today. The webinar is being recorded, this is, is usual, um, so you will have the opportunity to go back and revisit what you see live or recommend to um, colleagues. Um, our aim is to post the recording as soon as possible and it may well be in place today. Um, that will be accessed by our Wednesday webinar page at uh, tecla.com and uh, you as, register, as registers for the webinar will get a notification. So um, just a, a brief introduction. Uh, as you know, today's content focuses on the Trimble IDEA partnership um, and the strong synergy between the advanced um, structural engineering products that we bring to market. The goal in the next 40 or so minutes is to look at this uh, latest Tecla Structures interoperability link that supports our commitment to open BIM. Um, we intend to show how Tecla Structures and IDEA Statica's finite element modeling uh, can combine to deliver construction ready complex connection design. And what will be de demonstrated today does result from close cooperation to create a plugin using the Tecla Structures open API that plugin will allow even the most complicated nodes formed from a number of standard connections and manually modeled steel objects, bolts and welds to transfer easily into IDEA Statica application. Um, here's our agenda, not necessarily in this order, but it's our intention to give you an overview of the um, IDEA Statica solution and uh, code base. We have uh, testimonials from existing customers and um, we will be um, giving you an overview of the Tecla Structures plugin. Most importantly, there is a live demonstration to show you how it works and, and then we will touch on the customer benefits of the pairing of Tecla Structures with IDEA Statica software. Um, we will finish with, as already said, the Q&A. So without further delay, I would now like to hand over to Uri, who will um, start the presentation with an overview of Idea Statica. Over to you, Uri. Thanks a lot, Philip. Hello to everybody. Uh, it's been a couple of years since, since uh, we've been working together, Idea Statica and, and Trimble. We are a proud partner in uh, A&D segment. Uh, in our team, we have a group of experienced people, former structural engineers, uh, software engineers working on uh, tools that we link to uh, key products uh, uh, Tecla has uh, and offers to the uh, engineering uh, audience. Uh, Idea Statica is focused on the details. It is a software for code checking, structural design of joints, cross sections and other details. If you are aware of Tecla Structural Designer, that is an actual final element analysis tool to analyze and do the structural design of the whole model. Idea Statica is focused on the details. Uh, today is about steel connections, steel joints, and how it works with Tecla structures. We cooperate a lot with the universities to validate the results 
uh, we use and the methods that are embedded in the software uh, and behind this more, more than 35 people working on it to get it in a shape that it's usable by any structural engineer or fabricator worldwide. In our steel projects, we have two types of joints we encounter. We have the standards, the easy joints, and then we have the non-standards, the difficult ones. For the standard, we know very well how to deal with them. We have design guides, we have uh, predefined examples, we have our past experience. And as long as we stay in, the, uh, in these predefined templates, we are uh, very good to go. And, and the design is rather easy. When we have to step, down, step out of these uh, standard topologies, there is a way. Especially experienced engineers, they are able to build a model of the joint in an advanced uh, finite element tool, uh, do the code check-in uh, in Excel spreadsheets to actually uh, uh, take into account all the local specifics. It requires a little bit of estimation and experience. The more uh, skilled engineers do that, uh, sometimes, honestly, it's just better to avoid using the non-standard joint and adjust the project or spend more time on it. This leads to a, a little bit of paradox that uh, even though 70% of uh, joints in steel structures are the easy ones, the standard, we spend most of the time, spend 70% of the time on the difficult ones, on the 30% of difficult joints. To illustrate this, this is one of uh, our biggest Tecla idea. Customers, Arup, using this workflow in their offices in UK, US, Australia, and they had the direct comparison because they have been in the industry for quite some time. Ten years ago, they were designing a leaden hall tower in London with a joint like this. So retrospectively, they tried to do this in uh, Idea Statica, and they know ten years ago, it was a labor's process, couple of weeks of iterations using multiple tools. Today, much quicker, much simpler way with Tecla structures and Idea Statica. This workflow delivers structural design and code check of all steel joints. Not just a standard, not just a non-standard. Do them all and do them in minutes. We can design and check 2D frames, trusses, 3D frames, trusses, footing, anchoring, everything that is uh, uh, possible in a steel project, no matter the complexity. The analysis usually starts to uh, with the get the stress strain diagram of the joint. Uh, usually, buckling stiffness is required as well pretty much everything that is needed for an overall check. Let's look at examples. This is a complex joint in an electricity tower mast with a seemingly suspicious topology of bolts, and it's correct. Uh, if we do not understand the joint, we can get wrong topology like this. That's uh, displayed by the red. Uh, uh, indications, uh, the bolts that they are uh, overpressurized and the design is not safe, it would collapse. If we understand this, have a tool, can rearrange the bolts, check it again, come up with a safe design. Sometimes the joint is uh, okay from the point of stress and strain, but there might be buckling, uh, like in this example, steel warehouse joint. We can simply add a stiffener, either in Tecla or in Idea Statica, run the check again and see that we fix the problem. Sometimes we can uh, optimize. Uh, if you understand the joint, uh, like uh, this one, we can cut the second tube as well, get stiffness 10 times higher for the same money. Three years ago, there was this uh, steel service bridge being designed uh, 
uh, in uh, uh, Heathrow Airport, UK. And this particular joint was a non-standard, couldn't be checked by any other tool with Idea Statica. A proper design, a safe design was achieved and uh, uh, presented to the authorities who accepted it. A big customer of Tecla Structures and Idea Statica, Content Engineering, uh, is using this workflow to speed up their processes every day. Uh, we've developed uh, an interface uh, which is uh, automatically embedded uh, between IDEA and uh, Tecla. Uh, that's a, a joint effort of uh, our development team and uh, 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 the team of Tecla. We are actually working with the API. Uh, we've uh, uh, created one way link we will show and we have more plans for the future. We can discuss that as well. Inside the software, there's a new method which uh, uh, needs to be tested. So for quite some time, we've been working on uh, the, co the comparison, uh, on the verification work. So we took all the standard joints and connections from design guides, either Eurocode or US, and recalculate in Idea Statica. And we got the same results. Not identical, as we are working with final elements, but always within the safety factor of the code. The complex joints are not so easy to check as there are no um, predefined examples. So the university is working with us. They spend a lot of time modeling complex joints in very scientific final element programs and comparing the results with Idea Statica. Again, very, very similar results. Third level was to uh, do live tests and then publish everything, make it available, make everybody uh, able to challenge the, the, this approach. So uh, we publish it online on conferences at our website um, and uh, the university has also published a summary of it, a book, benchmark cases for advanced design of structural steel connections, uh, selected set of benchmark cases which show the comparison uh, between IDEA, uh, Statica, and uh, the conventional uh, component method, and is a, it's a look inside how it works, how it can be checked. And this sophisticated method, it took us quite some time to develop it. It is in the software, but it's hidden. It was transformed into a fun tool to model joints. Uh, we uh, uh, implemented the modeling principles very similar to uh, Tecla structures. That means you are constructing the joint uh, with parts you know, adding plates, welds, bolts uh, to build any shape. And the same principle allows, allowed us to link those two solutions so we can recognize the objects in Tecla and send them to, to IDEA one-to-one -to -one and uh, basically skip this process, save a lot of time. Uh, we already spent modeling in Tecla structures. Uh, we support Eurocode and the US code. More codes will be added. We gradually improve uh, and add various material types, cross sections, bolts, we have different types of reports, and also produce schemes of drawings. It is important to show all the references to the code. So this is a code checking software, so it all goes down to answering a question. Is it safe? Is it buildable? Is it okay by the code? So we display all the checks uh, defined by Eurocode or the US code with a clear pass answer. Uh, not just the answer, you can look into the uh, actual calculations, display the formulas, Check it for yourself uh, if you want to. Three levels of report we will show live. This is a very enthusiastic Tecla Structures uh, user from Spain. Um, in, this, uh, in, in, in Generia, um, 
or outlet engineering that's doing projects in uh, Spain, uh, North uh, Africa, Latin America a lot. And they are always looking for ways how to shorten the design process. With Tecla Structures and Idea Statica, they can do that. We have prepared two examples to show this live. These two joints, uh, we will open them in um, Tecla Structures 2016 and uh, send them to IDEA to uh, do a proper uh, design and code check. I will hand it over to my colleague Viet, who will guide us through both the examples. Hello. Let's open the project file in Tecla Structures and check this frame joint in IDEA Statica. To export it from Tecla, we choose the appropriate button in the top ribbon according to the code which we need, Eurocode or US code. Next step is that we select the point which will be representing the node. Next step is to choose all structural members of the joint. First chosen member will be the bearing one. Last step is to choose all remaining parts like plates, welds and bolts. Idea Statica connection window will automatically appear after saving the project file. We imported the geometry, the cross sections and all needed data from the Tecla structures. When we import the model from CAD program like Tecla Structures, we need to import or input the load cases, load effects, to load the members. In this example, we have many members. We can easily input the internal forces from the Excel spreadsheet. Let's check this joint by stress and strain analysis. Now the nonlinear calculation is being processed. The load is applied in steps and the software finds the equilibrium in an iterative way. We will ex explore the results now. Utilization of all parts of the joint is displayed. In the main window, we can see the colored 3D model. The great parts are utilized less than 60% of the limit. The green ones less than 95% of the limit. The orange ones less than 100% of the limit. The red parts of the connection did not pass the code check. Uh, this traffic light function helps to identify the overloaded parts in seconds. Let's see the equivalent stress, mesh and deformed view of the model. The results are also presented for each of the finite elements of the world. We can see right away how the welds are utilized. If we select a component in 3D view, uh, for example, this weld, Idea Statica will show the results for this component in result tables. The formulas and the values which are used for the code check are presented too. We provide this information for welds, bolts, and anchors. Idea Statica Connection offers three options of reporting. Summary, one page, and detailed. It can be modified. For example, we will turn on the views in geometry, add a bill of material with the drawings. We refresh 
and the report is completed. The report can be exported and opened as an editable document. The tables and the figures can be further used. We have designed and checked the frame joint using Tecla structures and Idea Statica. Now we will proceed to the next example. Let's open the project. To export it from Tecla, we choose the appropriate button in the top ribbon. And again, the first step is to choose the point which will be representing the node. After that, we will choose all structural members of the joint. First chosen member will be the bearing one. Last step is to choose all other entities like plates, bolts and welds. Idea Statica connection window will automatically appear after saving the project file. We imported geometry, cross sections and all needed data from the Tecla structures. When we import model from CAD program like Tecla, we have to input internal forces to load the members. This time we will input the internal forces manually. Now we loaded the model. We can choose the type of shear force transfer for the bolts. We can choose between bearing, tension shear interaction and friction. Friction is option for preloaded bolts. Let's check this joint by a stress strain analysis. We will explore the results now. Utilization of all parts of the joint is displayed. Let's select the most utilized bolt, the orange one. Idea Statica will, will, will guide us through the results for this bolt. We can see the values for code check. Let's see the equivalent stress, mesh and bolt forces. If we select the green arrow in 3D view, which represent the tension force in a bolt, Idea Statica will show the results for this component in the result tables. Again, all values and formulas are presented. We provide this information for bolts, welds and anchors. We can do buckling analysis too. The factors of critical loads are presented and we can see buckling shapes for each factor. Idea Statica offers a bill of material and we can add drawings with uh, dimensions of all, entity, of all entities, holes, edges, etc. We can export this draft to DXF file and for further use. Let's, let's prepare a report with 
buckling results and drawings. We refresh and the document will be completed. We have designed and checked the frame joint using Tecla structures and Idea Statica. Now I will hand it over to Philip to wrap up the benefits of using Tecla structures and Idea Statica. Thank you very much. Um, that was a great demo. Um, so we are on our way to Q&A now. Um, we'll just get uh, let Vit uh, review the questions we've had in. Uh, do please submit your questions based on the the presentation. And uh, as you were told, let's have a quick look at the benefits of pairing Tecla structures and Idea Statica. Um, it, it is really all down to the uh, ability to produce the construction ready model with Tecla structures, regardless of project size. Uh, level of development 400 is is with ease, easily within our capabilities, um, giving you the opportunity to save time and reduce um, potential errors by not having to recreate the node in separate or different applications. There is clearly uh, no software limitation, so no need to subdivide a large project or simplify the connection node into smaller components. Um, obviously, as already mentioned, the fabrication model can be used, including all material bolts and welds information um, for efficiency. Combined connections and ma manually added stiffeners can be adopted rather than just standard joints. That fabrication model um, complete with all machine preparations needed for manufacture can be used to minimize the uh, the risk of structural defects, regardless of the complexity of the node in connection. Um, clearly, there is uh, the opportunity to um, do some material savings and um, a lot of opportunity to reduce the preparation time for the connected calculations. And um, as was pointed out in the presentation, um, using Idea Statica um, provides clear results for verification by other external engineers, contractors, or local authorities. So uh, I, I think the synergies with the software are, are quite clear. So how do you get your hands on it? Uh, the plugin is available from Tecla Warehouse um, as a download. And for those of you who have yet to experience um, Idea Statica software, um, we ha you have the opportunity to enjoy a 14-day uh, free trial. Um, to experience its power. Just a quick poll for you um, to see who's interested in actually um, taking on the 14-day uh, trial. You should have a, uh, the opportunity to register your interest on screen now. Uh, a simple yes, no, um, but we would be interested for those who have already tested and um, an idea of how many of you out there are already customers of Idea Statica. So uh, a few moments to complete that, and then I will be inviting uh, Yurai to, to rejoin us and have a look at some of the many questions that you have submitted on uh, today's topic. So it looks like we've got a good response. A very high percentage um, of you are interested in, in having a look at the software, which is great. Um, obviously, a lot of Idea Static customers out there already. If those of you are not uh, Tecla users, perhaps uh, you want to contact us to look at that as well. So um, without further delay, Uri, are you uh, ready and able to uh, join us to have a look at some of the questions? Sure, sure. Thank you, Philip. First question is, uh, if the meshing is uh, done automatically and if we can uh, adjust it, for example, the mesh size? Well, uh, this is a good question. Uh, as you see from the, from the pictures, we had a group of scientists to fine-tune our method and we have a default, uh, default values for mesh size. With these default values, uh, the model is going well, it creates and uh, give results very well. 
but if you want a user or you uh, can change the values of mesh it's a little bit hide from the user but it can be changed in the code setup and for example you can change number of uh, finite elements on the edge or minimal size of the element or the maximal size so it can be tuned but it's not necessary okay everything running automatically thank you uh, another question is what are other options to get the load effects to idea statica we've seen uh, uh, actually copy pasting it from excel spreadsheet and input it manually uh, there's a question if it is possible from uh, start pro or uh, or a program like that uh, yes of course we have uh, another option uh, we showed here a uh, bimbling between CAD program and we can or we have a link between FEM program uh, for example start pro robot uh, CI engineer and others you can create your FEM finite element uh, uh, construction model uh, the global model and then export only the joint and the internal forces only in the joint but then you have to create your joint in uh, in way of uh, plates welds and uh, everything in the idea statica connection very well uh, next question uh, does the finite element analysis respect ductility of the welds yes of course uh, our finite elements for the welds respect the geometry of the weld uh, actually uh, the finite elements has the uh, has the own uh, working diagram bilinear working diagram and it helps us to correspond with the reality we can easily uh, design uh, the welds we can cover the uh, correct length of the weld in the in the connections very well uh, the next question is about uh, actually there are some more questions about other codes uh, like uh, Australian Russian we have a question about Canadian Canadian as well uh, so um, I will update that as of today it's Eurocode and US in June uh, that's uh, that's in uh, 30 days uh, Canadian code will be implemented uh, Australian code end of this year uh, and uh, more will come in the uh, uh, in the next uh, period that that will be defined uh, there is a group of questions about uh, uh, actually expanding the interoperability of the tecla link which is uh, uh, great to see uh, there seems to be a lot of advanced users it all uh, goes around selecting more joins in Tecla that's one question if it is possible to select more joins in Tecla structures as send it to idea as of today as of today no but that's exactly the way we are we are pushing this uh, forward to be able to work with groups of joins identify them keep them in in groups uh, design similar joins or identical joins at one go uh, next couple of quest questions is about how to send the information back that means from idea statica to somehow update uh, the model uh, uh, in tecla structures this is also a, a, a good topic and and we will have the first version of this uh, in october uh, how we can uh, make the iterative process of uh, Tecla idea more easy so it uh, it remembers the the changes and, and and make it much more easier to update the information in uh, uh, in Tecla structures as the as the key model to use All right uh, then we had a question about uh, uh, rivets uh, when we can design uh, rivets um, yes we can and we are improving this uh, for the next release as well it's a, it's a little bit specific topic okay 
Um, another question is uh, if for some reason uh, uh, if we can design a joint without Tecla. Uh, yes, uh, Ideas Tecla works, works as well as a standalone application. That means uh, that we can design the joint from scratch uh, uh, in Ideas Tecla. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, another question about uh, CI engineer, uh, if we can uh, create a join there and send it to um, Idea Statica. Yes, there's a direct link uh, that uh, enables that with a different set of information as, uh, as we've described. Uh, yep. We have questions about the new uh, joint resistance uh, functionality uh, which uh, was implemented in the last release. Uh, maybe we can uh, get in touch after the webinar to, to show that. Yep. All right, let me check. Let me check if we have... Uh, there's a quite a few questions, so I'm trying to group them. Uh, Philip, maybe you can do the wrap up and, and we'll look into more questions we can discuss together. That okay? would be absolutely fine, yes. Um, just to share with you, there's obviously a, a very high level uh, of interest, we've, we, which is great. We've got lots of questions from you. So whilst uh, your eye looks at, uh, at the next one to address, let me um, just remind you that um, if you do have any other questions that occur to you after the webinar, you can submit them to us by email, tecla.webinar at trimble.com. And uh, I can say some people are using that at the same time as the GoToWebinar at the moment, so a lot of interest. Um, we will be um, having another Wednesday webinar, um, 5th of July, um, again looking at a partnership with uh, um, uh, 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 between Tecla Structures and, in this case, Rhino Grasshopper. Um, so it's an open invitation to join us to learn more about algorithmic modeling and parametric design um, in Tecla Structures using a Rhino Grasshopper um, plugin. So uh, do please um, uh, remember that that's happening. Um, the uh, registration page will be, but is not yet on the uh, Tecla uh, webinar page. That should be. Um, there in the next day or two and um, there will be a poll um, do please stay online afterwards and uh, you'll receive a, a feedback poll to tell us how you found the webinar it's always useful to to get your feedback particularly on on this topic with regard to uh, featuring partner products so uh, perhaps you could uh, take the time to complete that and let us have it back um, we do have time for some more questions, um, so um, if if you want to come back to us, we can work through um, a few more questions, Uri. All right, all right. A question is: Is there a library available for a historic section sections? If we can, uh, uh, if the user can define their own. Uh, yes, we've impl implemented a wide range of libraries of cross sections. Uh, and uh, directly in Idea Statica, we can create a general one uh, and it can be used su subsequently in other, in other projects. Uh, we have one more question about the, uh, on the stresses. Is it possible to view results for stresses other than phonemes stresses in Idea Statica to, for example, separate shear stresses from normal stresses? Uh, that will be a question for me, I suppose. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, now we can see only the equivalent stress, the one miss stress. And uh, if you need or if you want to uh, see uh, the stresses uh, only uh, in one direction, for example, for welds and bolts, uh, these values are presented in the result tables. So you can see the values in the tables, uh, not in the 3D scene. All right. Uh, we have a question. How much is the program? <laughs> All right. 
um, the full solution, including the interface to Tecla structures, costs 4,000 euros per license. Uh, and with discounts for more seats uh, bought at the same time. Uh, we work with uh, quite a few of uh, Tecla partners, uh, i.e. Tecla resellers, uh, so they uh, sell it together, Tecla Structures and ID Aesthetica. Uh, you can check out our website, uh, uh, your closest partner, and uh, uh, you can get it at, at one stop. Uh, in other countries, uh, we have other partners, or you can contact us directly. Uh, questions about the, uh, the Egyptian and Russian standards. This is uh, not yet in the in the plan. We will be happy if uh, uh, we get more attention and interesting projects there, so we can uh, we can make make it a priority. All right. Uh, and we, um, I was just going to prompt you. You've had a question on price. Would you like to to uh, tell our audience with regard to further information where 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 they can go to buy uh, yes sure uh, we'll be sending a follow-up after this webinar and uh, we have a list of all our resellers uh, at our website with uh, responsible person and uh, uh, and contact information uh, for that particular territory uh, and so sometimes it might be the same person you uh, purchase the class structures from uh, which is uh, which makes it a lot more easier thank you uh, one last question uh, if we are doing internal uh, nodes of the joints is there some insurance that this will this, this software will give us 100 percent right results if you provide right forces that's a very good question um, structural engineer he always works with the uh, the whole model first that means if you're in tech class structural designer you get uh, all the load combinations uh for the for the frames, for the whole structure, and then you take the result, uh, take all these forces and apply them to on, on the joint. So if we have this uh, information, Idea Statica uh, uh, calculates everything right, correct, guaranteed, uh, but it's responsibility of the engineer to get the proper loading in the global analysis. Uh, we also, uh, I think, let's make it a last question. Uh, uh, how does the cloud version work? Uh, we have created three months ago a simplified version of uh, this application and put it uh, online. Uh, we uh, took a different approach. We created hundreds of predefined templates uh, of steel connections, steel joints that can be, in a few clicks, designed and checked online only using your web browser you can also check it out it's a it's a new thing a different approach uh, where where we have uh, hundreds of predefined examples to choose from and in the future we will be looking how to uh, how to integrate it more in the whole design process so thank you Yurai. thank you to to vit for the, the the demonstration thank you to Everyone that submitted questions, um, and, and um, obviously uh, we will get answers to those that we were not able to address um, live today. Um, we do appreciate you attending, um, so thank you for being with us. Um, this seems to have been a very interesting topic, um, so do, do please uh, fill in our poll after the webinar and, and let us know um, how you found the webinar. Um, we look forward to speaking with you again, and um, I'm sure you'll be hearing from uh, our friends at Idea Staticus, particularly those of you who registered interest in the 14-day trial. So uh, thanks for all of us. Um, hopefully, um, speak to you again in a month's time um, with regard to Tecla Structures and Rhino Grasshopper. Thank you and goodbye.